Hi, in this video I thought we'd look at a couple of Luke Jedi figures. These are basic 3.75 figures, 5 POA. So we've got the Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight from the Saga 2.0 line. Force links from about 2018, I guess. Can't remember. I remember at the time this figure was kind of hard to find, so... I Unfortunately, this one's come off the blister a bit, so I thought I might as well open it. And I got this one this year. I think it's called Epic Force, this line. Basic Luke Jedi. It would be nice to do a comparison of the two figures. So he's obviously got the more Return of the Jet, like the Tatarine, because he's got the outer robe. Whereas he's got more when he's fighting the Emperor and Darth Vader. Back to the cards. And he's got the backpack for the little Grogu figure as well. And there's the artwork. Okay, so we'll start with this figure, I guess. Always have a bit of tape at the bottom. There's the card, nice artwork there. False link on this never really worked, it was always problematic. Comes with the lightsaber. Nicely done. Here's the figure. Oops, he just popped out. It's the head on the board just turns. The hands rotate, so this has got slightly more articulation. Very orangey hair. Camera doesn't really want to focus on this. But yeah, not bad figure. And then there's this one as well, which is the new Luke basic line. These are six quid at game. They're about six forty at. The entertainer if you want to pick these up there's the figure this has certainly more brown you get a little backpack back. I don't know why I put the holes in the figure. Here's the lightsaber. A lot more simpler. Definitely a bigger, chunkier hilt than the other saber. Yep. That one's a lot thinner. Let me lower the camera so we can get a closer look at these two figures. A bit more, I think. Okay, so this is the Force Link Luke. Let's see how he grips the saber. Got 
very small hand. See if I can get the blooming thing in there. Grips it well, very secure grip there. See how it stands. Pretty cool. Let's try this Luke. Again, very secure grip. As you can see that that new figure is a lot taller, <laughs> a lot more chunky. The faces. The heads are much bigger on the new figure. Which one do you prefer? This one might need a stand. Maybe not though. But there is certainly a size difference, a height difference between the two figures. Both by Hasbro. <laughs> yep, that's a bolt up Luke. I guess all these figures are all the same scale. Whereas these ones are more in line with the actual actors. So two great looks, look really good. Let's try the backpack on this figure. Oh, it's got a whole thing to plug it in there. have to really push it in but yeah I mean if you had a little Grogo figure you could shove him in there it look great just trying to get this figure to balance nicely and then this one probably have to tilt him a little bit forward with the backpack on yeah so there's the two Lukes. So this one's six quid now at game. Yeah, not bad. I think his head's, yeah, his head's on a ball, but it's quite limited the amount of movement. But not a bad head sculpt, really. Luke is notorious for getting an accurate head sculpt. You can bend the legs that far forward. And they go all the way back to there. 360 with both arms. Just the, no wrist turning, no. And the head's on the ball. Pretty cool, and then this Luke here has the same articulation. Let's see that goes that far forward. Legs go further back though. 360 with the arms, rotation at the wrist, head turns. Let's have a better look at the face. Certainly more reddish hair. 
This is more sandy brown. Just quite a considerable size difference. But if you want a simple Luke Jedi figure to display, either one will suffice. Anyway, time to stop waffling. I hope you like looking at this. Cheers, goodbye.